Hey, PT for Studio Live today. Now, if like me, you have an iPad and an iPhone and you use GarageBand to produce music, then this is a quick tip for GarageBand iOS that you will want to see because I'm gonna show you the quickest way to share your projects between your iPhone and your iPad. It's easy, you can use AirDrop, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Let's go. Okay, so here we have my iPhone and my iPad. Now, if we come down to the iPhone here, we can see, if we zoom in there and focus, that I've got a song here called Sin that I'm working on at the moment. And you can see it's got that little upload cloud next to it, which means it is uploading to the cloud. Now, that's fine, but what if I want to move over to my iPad and do some recording right now. Well, you can see here we've got the opposite problem here. It's waiting to download and I'm gonna to have to download it, but it's not gonna have the latest version because it's still uploading here. So there's a simple way if I wanna shortcut all of this process, I've got these two devices here and that is to use AirDrop. So all I'm gonna do is tap on select on my iPhone. I'm gonna choose this one and I'm gonna hit the share button and then I'm gonna share the entire project. So I'm gonna tap on the project option there and AirDrop in a moment will pop up it knows that my iPad here is called Jasmine. I'm going to tap on that one and it will now pop up over here and it'll ask me how I want to open it. I can open it with GarageBand. And now it's going to pop that straight in here and you can see here it's made it Sin 2. So it will create a copy of that one. It won't be the exact same project name, but that is now completely done. So now all I need to do is delete that original version and use Sin 2 on my iPad now, I can make any changes I want. Then when I wanna go back out on the road, I simply airdrop that project straight back to my iPhone and I've got the complete project. And if you've got a project that's getting up there in, in terms of you know, 100, 200, 300 meg, I've had almost a gigabyte file before, you don't wanna wait for it to upload and download from iCloud and even using your PC and iTunes can be a hassle. So there you go, I told you it was a quick one. That's the easiest way that I've found to share my projects. And if you like me, you've got two devices and you use them on the go, hopefully this is gonna help you out and make your workflow even smoother. Thanks for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you on the next video.